Hello and welcome to this course in Exploration, Valuation and Decision Analysis. My name is Babak and I will be the instructor for this course. So what is exploration? The simple answer is looking for hydrocarbons, trying to find oil or gas in the subsurface. How do we do that? Usually look into large amount of information. We try to identify possible traps for oil or gas. And in order to test our idea, we usually drill exploration wells into the formation. We may or may not find oil or gas. Well, historically, most exploration wells have been dry holes. But let's assume that we discover hydrocarbons. Is this the end of the story? Well, usually not. Corporations are about creating shareholder value. In a way, exploration is about running a business. A discovery is good news because later on we can develop the field into a producing asset. We could send the production into the market and we could sell that at market prices and get value for our production. So the value that we get from selling hydrocarbons creates a benefit from a discovery. That's why it's good news. So how do we evaluate these opportunities? Well, more important is what is the economic worth of an exploration opportunity? If we could answer these questions, we could answer the more important question of how do we make decisions? We need consistent valuations and we need consistent analysis to make good decision. The goal of all this analysis is about good decision making. So what is a good decision model? Well, perhaps we could introduce a simple decision tree model in here. But before that, we need to consider this fact that most exploration wells are plugged and abandoned after they reach their objective. Their objective is to gather information. So in a way, after they reach a formation and the, inf the information is gathered, most exploration wells are plugged and abandoned. That's their fate. So in a way, exploration drilling is about investing in information. How do we evaluate the information? Well, we usually use a decision tree model like this to evaluate the information that comes from an exploration well. In this decision tree model, we are saying that we have a decision. We show a decision by a square node. And we could drill or we could walk away from this opportunity. If you walk away, the outcome is zero. If you drill, there is this uncertainty about success or failure. We are not sure if the hydrocarbons exist in the formation. So with some probability, we will be successful. And if we are successful, we will get a reward. That's the NPV of success. If we are not successful, then we will have to pay the cost of drilling, which I call it here the NPV of failure. So what is NPV of success? Maybe we could dig deeper into the elements of NPV of success. So let's assume that we make a discovery. We could tell the story up front. If we make a discovery, then perhaps we could think of the financial outcomes of this discovery in two dimensions. The horizontal axis is time and the vertical axis is the amount of money that we should pay or we will receive. So right after the discovery, we need to pay more. We need to pay for the appraisal cost. We need to do construction. We need to pay for the development cost. After a period of preparation and construction, we will produce from this field. 
we will have a production profile like this. The production starts, reaches a peak, and then gradually declines. So we sell this production in the market and we get a market revenue. In order to operate this asset, we need to pay fixed operating costs. We need to pay taxes to the government. We need to pay variable operating costs and all these things. So the aggregate picture of all these cash flows is boiled down into a number. That one number is the NPV of success. So how do we boil down all this information into one representative number? Well, we will use concepts like time value of money and the price for risk to include all these. But then it includes all simplifications that we introduced into this valuation. The period of time between the discovery and first oil is called lead time. During this time, we don't have any production, so we don't get the benefits from this discovery. Then production starts and continues for perhaps many years. During this time, we have benefits, we have production revenues. So is this a good model? Maybe for some projects. In reality, the outside world is much more complex than the model that we discussed right now. A more complex decision tree model should look like this. We have the uncertainty about success or failure. We also have uncertainty about how much volume we discover. We may find a large amount or a small amount. Then there's also uncertainty about prices in the market. After all these uncertainties, there's also a decision about how we could develop this field. Even further on, there are other decisions and uncertainties. So the model that we discussed is by no way the most comprehensive model. So in this course, we will discuss the analysis of exploration decisions. We discuss models that enable us to do a consistent valuation. We will discuss value drivers for exploration decisions, exploration drilling, taking seismic information. These are all exploration activities. So what is the value driver for a specific exploration activity? And then we will discuss a few analytic, analytical methods like decision trees that could help us make good decisions.